Hello, hello everybody, Turkey Cat here again, bringing you another game. Uh, this game, I'm actually going to show you um, from my camera only, um, because this game is going to illustrate the importance of um, information gathering, and how a tiny, tiny, tiny piece of information can actually tip you off um, about a huge... Uh, and create a huge game changer for you. Um, so uh, what we're going to see in here is uh, definitely something strange, uh, definitely a pretty short game um, because of exactly what happens here. Um, but you're going to see you know, uh, how to tell the slight differences um, in an opponent's build and uh, kind of um, gather, you know, okay, so basically a lot of what you do is, okay, well, he's got this much gas, so what, what is he capable of building, what is he not capable of building? Um, there's, there's those major things like that, you know, okay, so he's building Stargates, obviously, uh, or he's building you know, Robotech, obviously, so you know what kind of uh, units you want to attack into based on those um, obvious decisions. But then there's times where you see little tiny, tiny details um, that just aren't what you're quite used to um, that uh, can, can really... Um, remind you to do some of the key uh, scouting things that you wouldn't um, maybe always do in, in other games. So um, we're gonna, I'm going to show exactly that. Um, so actually, um, just, I'm just going to follow my camera the entire time here. I'm not even going to click around the map to show what I'm doing. I am scouting his base. I actually sent my, um, looks like, yeah, I sent my initial um, drone scout in the same direction as my overlord, which is uh, kind of a mistake there. But um, I send it uh, south, and then hopefully correct that overload is pathing as well. So, so here's what I'm talking about. So, um, this is a standard time to see a probe in your base, right? Um, around this point, you know, it's a little different on this kind of kind of map because, excuse me, because there's four total spawn positions. So, it could be a little earlier, it could be a little later. Um, obviously, based on the scouting position, I've already kind of figured out. Okay, he's probably, or based on the scouting timing, I mean, uh, I've already figured out. Okay, he's probably cross position and I'm going to correctly see that. Okay, um, that's weird. He's going uh, um, Cybercore. Um, so he's not actually Forge Fast expanding, um, which is not what I'm used to seeing, but I did see double gas. Um, so obviously that tells me he's going to be doing some kind of quick tech. Um, obviously I'm going to get a gas immediately, but whenever you see somebody doing double gas on one base, especially Protoss, you can expect some kind of ridiculous tech in the very beginning. Um, so right now already I'm expecting either Stargates or DTs are basically my thought. Um, he's either going to rush a Void Ray or um, maybe even Phoenixes. Um, that's probably less likely, but... Um, so what, immediately I'm thinking, okay, probably something like um, DTs is, is, is probably what I'm thinking. But um, I don't exactly remember this was like three months ago, but I know he's going to do something cheeky. And there, there's an, as a probe again, two minutes later than before. So now I'm definitely thinking DTs. Um, okay, so where's that pylon is what I'm going to want to know. First thing I want to do is uh, is kill that fucking probe. And as you can see, the, the queen actually was doing her melee attack there. So um, this is actually... Um, pretty old game, it's before even the most recent patch, but um, as you can see I'm just shift rally attack moving all over the fucking place, I'm like where the hell did he put that pylon, what's going on, you know, obviously that probe was there for a reason, you know, he came from a weird angle two minutes after his initial scout, oh and uh, what did I just find? Proxy Stargate. So um, this is actually going to be really funny uh, now that um, I've seen that and I'm putting down an evolution chamber to try to get some defense against this. I'm actually going to go back to the everyone cam and you're going to see exactly what happens here as he's chrono boosting this void ray out. Is it going to finish? Is it going to finish? Oh god, it's got to be the most painful thing to ever see as a Protoss player. I was literally 99%. Um, so as you can imagine, uh, I'm feeling amazing right now. Um, I think, honestly, if he had not sent that probe back in, um, I'm not sure if I would have reacted to that the same way, you know. I, uh, I may have come down here and attempted to scout his base instead and try to figure out what kind of stuff he was going to do with that. Um, 
with that initial uh, double gas that he went, but um, obviously at this point, um, I know that I've pretty much won this game. So uh, this is actually a really short, short game. I'm not even going to bother um, with explaining the rest of it, but uh, this game is just basically just to illustrate how important it is to see those tiny, tiny little discrepancies in a person's play um, and to see, you know, okay, so that the, the timings are so important in this game. And this is really a game of seconds. Um, that's exactly what, what this is. StarCraft is a game of seconds. And as you saw, one second later, and that Void Ray would have been out. Um, luckily, I did, you know, manage to, to stop the pylon and everything, so he would have only been able to get that one Void Ray out. Um, but it still could have potentially done enough damage, um, even against, you know, maybe one or two queens, uh, to try and, um, and kill me. But uh, he did actually transition straight into, um, you know, some kind of double gas, four gate, or actually five gate. Um, but it's not really going to matter as I have uh, done my due diligence already and uh, held him off enough to just straight up win this game and he just cheese and leaves. So really, really short game. I just wanted to illustrate um, the importance of scouting and information gathering and how it can completely turn a game in your favor. So um, short and sweet. Let me know what you think. Uh, I'll see you guys next time.